What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is finally here. I'm so excited that I was able to record this video for you guys. Super stoked, to be honest. And of course, as you know, for the title of the video, it is my thoughts, my on PR thoughts on the new Dose of Colors Aloe Sarai collection. Um, why did I call it on PR thoughts? Because I will tell you right now why. I bought myself this collection. Right, so this collection was not sent to me by Dose of Color whatsoever, so I bought this with my own money. So I feel like I'm not tied to the fact that I have to kind of say that I like it in order for me to stay on their PR team. No, I'm gonna give you my 110 honest opinion like I always do on this collection. So if you want to see a non-PR uh, review, <laughs> swatch, thoughts, first impression, on the new Dose of Colors I Love Saturday collection if it's something that you have to get your hands on it or if it's something that you can pass along. So first of all you have to is subscribe to my channel. Do not go onto the video without subscribing to my channel. After you've done it, make sure you did. Make sure you did. Don't be fooling yourself. <laughs> let's go ahead on with the rest of the video. All right guys, so let's go ahead and start talking about this collection. So this collection includes four, um, four liquid lipsticks, two, two glosses, two um, highlighters, and one palette. Some of the items from the collection, I didn't pick up everything because I felt like I didn't need everything. So I did pick up two lippies, one gloss, one highlighter, and of course I picked up the palette. So let's go ahead and talk about everything. I wanna make sure that I do this um, as fast as possible. I don't wanna ramble on and give you things that are like unnecessary. So. Let's go ahead and jump into the palette because this is like the main attraction for this collection. <coughs> Honestly, with the packaging on this, it's just so cute. Um, it is that nude color that I want to say like nude color with the gold trims on it, and it's very nice. It has the I love Sarai um signature and then those of color, and then of course it has like gold rims on the sides. Let me see once this. So it has like gold rims on the side, so it's pretty nice. And then on the top of everything, it has like the name of what they are, as you can see. So right off the bat, I love the, the simplicity of the package. So that was pretty nice. So this is the palette. It's just called the eyeshadow, um, it's called the eyeshadow palette. It actually doesn't have an eyeshadow name or anything like that. It's just the eyeshadow palette. Um, I feel like the, pra the packaging is very nice. And once you get into the actual package of the palette, of the products it is super 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 cute like this is a collection that for um decoration purposes i am going to display it on back here because i love palm trees like this is just so adorable and the colors everything just kind of blended matched together so i do have to give thumbs up for the packaging um there she is this is the palette so it has six shades it has three shimmers and three um sorry it has three it has two matte and then uh the other ones are shimmer uh shimmery colors so that's what it looks like i absolutely love the combination of the colors so it's pretty nice love the fact that it has a nice size mirrors guys so this is a palette you can take with you it's very lightweight it closes magnetically and then just the fact that it has a very nice mirror so that's kind of cool that kind of gave you that kind of gave me a plus i'm gonna go ahead and put in we're gonna go ahead and swatch them out for you so you guys can see what the swatches look like how it swatches and how it kind of like pigments like the pigment wise all right so here are all the colors beautiful six shades as you can see so we're gonna go ahead and start swatching them for you guys All right guys, so here are all the swatches. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, um, you guys will see the eyeshadow in like full action once we I get into the, the eye tutorial so you guys can actually see my real thoughts on all the colors and um, what I thought about it because we did use all six shades on my eyes, guys. <laughs> oh am I, I'm a different person. Oh crap. <laughs> so I did use all six shades. I wanted to try all of the shades for you guys so you guys can like get like a like an actual thing of all the shades in this palette. 
So we tried all the shades in the palette and as I'm doing my makeup you will definitely um, hear my thoughts on all the shades. So the next thing we picked up, I picked up was the highlighting, the highlight and I picked Soulmate which is that more of a um, bronzy color and I absolutely love love this color guys it's a beautiful shade look at that it's a beautiful shade when it comes to um the highlight the highlight is beautiful it blew me away and honestly speaking it's a beautiful shade it's very subtle but at the same time is like intense like legit very intense so it's a very very nice nice color um all her products the collection it is vegan cruelty and talk free paraben free gluten free and Fatalis free so it's pretty good I like that so moving on to the three um, shades that I picked out of, of lip um, I picked out nude chica peachy and barely there as the gloss so let's go ahead and jump into these really really quick let's go ahead and open the 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 like I said there's four there is fresa and then I think the other one is aesthetic but honestly speaking I didn't think like those colors were like right up my alley so I ended up picking these two colors up decoration purposes I am definitely gonna leave this collection out on my vanity because I absolutely love 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 so let's go ahead and swatch these out really really quick I'm gonna swatch um the nude chica and peachy I am a, I am wearing nude chica on my lips right now because that was the one that I needed to buy so let's go ahead and swatch them out for you guys so you guys can see what they look like. Let me see, make sure that we're not. Uh, look how beautiful that color is though. So that's Nude Chica. Oh, that's a beautiful color. It's not like nude nude. Like it's not giving you like a nude color. So it's not like, oh, I have this color. You probably do have it in your collection. But still, the quality on the Dose of Colors lip, um, lips, liquid lipsticks are really dope. So it's amazing. It is super pigmented, guys. It's a beautiful color. It's not, it's a perfect like brownie nude one. So now we're going to go ahead and swatch the um, peachy. Let's just make sure that I'm doing this a little bit right. That is pretty. Look at it right here. So that's new Chica and then that's peachy. They are definitely not the same color until they dry. There, there it is. You can see the difference. One is actually above the other one. <laughs> I'm bad at swatching. So there is peachy. Peachy is a beautiful, um, more like a dark tone peach color. Um, I do have, I love peachy tone. So I cannot wait until I wear this one because this one definitely is a different type of peach. I'm normally used to like a light peach, very, very peachy, but this one is a more dark tone peach. So I thought that was very, very, that is actually a very nice color. So honestly, my thoughts on it pigmentation wise, amazing. Honestly, look how good it looks on the lip. It looks very, very good. I absolutely love it. And then the gloss is a clear bottle and it has the dose of color also with the pink it's super 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 cute so this one is the nude like the nude color of um gloss i'm gonna apply it on the bottom oh that's beautiful it is actually a nude gloss like it has pigmentation it is so it is down here look at it right here it has pigmentation so it's not just a gloss it actually has a nude color on it so that's pretty cool as far as i can tell you guys right now honestly speaking um, right off the bat um for the highlighter it's amazing it's super nice super pigmented it has a beautiful color the way the um liquid lipsticks apply they're really really good i mean they are dose of colors you are paying for quality so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look and what i think about the actual eyeshadow palette let's fast forward onto the eye let me go ahead and start using this peach one in the bottom which i think it's called um fingers crossed i think that's what it says so blind guys oh my god not fingers crossed finders keepers <laughs> So I'm gonna use Finders Keepers right here, which is that beautiful peach color. I'm gonna grab a big old shading brush. I mean, I know I have this color in another palette. That's for a fact that we have this color in another palette, probably two or three other palettes.
I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a smaller brush. And I'm gonna take this, um, to, uh, this one's the Wanderlust, if I'm not mistaken. No, this one is, this one is un poquito mas. This one is poquito mas, which is this one right here. Such a beautiful, like it's not burgundy and it's not like a deep orange. It's just a beautiful terracotta shade. Like I love this one and it has a beautiful color payoff. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the bad boys. I'm gonna go ahead and take that blue teal color because I mean, why not? It just calls you to, to, to use it. Like just use me. I'm loving it. Um, it has a little bit of the glittery fallout. I do have to say, like, um, Galad, I put the baking here because it has that fallout right down here. I can see the glittery, like the actual glitter falling. Like the blue glitter is actually falling in the bottom. So do this, if you're gonna use this color um, or the glittery ones, make sure you either baked your face and you have that baking powder, baking powder, or you have the powder on your under eyes or you're doing this look before you prep, you actually do your face. So we're gonna just concentrate it on that part. And now, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and do something that I've never done. I'm gonna step on my comfort zone and I'm gonna go ahead and use that black shade because honestly speaking, I cannot pass on that black shade. I have the same shader brush. And we are going to get rid of all the excess. But honestly speaking, you cannot really see as much glitter as you can on the blue one though. Like you see the blue and you see all the glitter. The, the black shade, for some reason, as I'm applying it, I just see a black eyeshadow. I don't see any glitter like I saw when I swatched it. So, I mean, I'm, I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't see any glitter. Like, I see it as a black shadow. That's what I see. I don't see glitter on this one. I don't know why. Oh, well, it is falling. The black got all the way on the top of my crease right here and I'm trying to blend it out to make sure that it just, the terracotta is the color that's st sticking out, but it just got really, really, really blended in there and it does not want to move. If you're a beginner, do, do stay away from this black color. If you've never worked with black shades in the, it stains, as you can see, see my finger? It stained, this is from the swatch. So the black stains and it doesn't kind of pick up the glitter like the blue shade, as you can see. Um, the blue shade is very beautiful, very vibrant. It's very there, it's very in your face. The black is just, for me, it's just a black that really, really stains. It's not easy to blend. So I feel like um, if you're a beginner, if you've never like used dark shadows, black shadows, I will refrain from staying away from it. I will actually stay away from it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use the color Wanderlust, which is the lighter shade of the palette. I'm just gonna apply just a tight bit on the brow bone just to bring a little bit of highlight to it. Oh, that's pretty. It has a lot of highlight on it. It's very pretty. To make this look come together, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing I did on the top part of my eye. I always do it on the bottom part of my eye. So I'm just going to grab the two shades, the peachy shade and the terracotta shade, and I'm going to blend that on the lower lash line to make sure that the whole look kind of comes together.
So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a thin line on my la on my close to my lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and then we'll go ahead and come back. Alright guys, so I finished applying liner and my falsies and the falsies that I'm using is the um the these are the Sephora collection with Lily lashes. This is the one in Miami. I've been truly obsessed with these lashes. They're just so bomb. So on the bottom, what I did is, like I said, I applied the same thing I did on the top part of my eyes. So I used like that terracotta and that peachy shade. And then what I did is I apply a little bit of that gold um, shadow that's in the palette, which is uh, the one in the middle. I'm not sure what it's the name of it. I can't continue to read because I'm blonde as a... So I used a little bit of the gold shadow. So technically we used all six shades on the palette on my eyes today. I tried all of them so I can give you a full on review on how everything works together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my face. I'm going to apply um, my, my blush. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and test out the, um, of course the highlight. This is the one called Sol Mate. So soulmate, <laughs> soulmate, as in the sun. <laughs> Get it? No. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is very nice. That's pretty. Oh. Uh All right, guys. It's such a beautiful shade. Look at that. It is super beautiful. Yes. 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 So these are the lippies. I'm gonna be using. Um, oh my god, it's all different. I'm gonna go ahead and use that nude chica. All right, guys. So the lip looks amazing. I love the color. I love the color payoff of the lip. It's super cute. It kind of ties up everything together. So watch out what I feel myself with this collection. Here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass, and I am going places. Makes me laugh above the irony of everything. I like the way you're thinking. I don't really care about the music on the dance floor. I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom. I don't care at all, baby. You got my attention. So you were saying, oh no. I don't see the logic of things. It's quite a lonely world that we live in. Alright, guys, so that pretty much wraps up my thoughts on the whole collection. So let me just give you a little recap on the whole collection. So packaging wise, it's amazing. I gotta give it a five out of five. Um, pigmentation when it comes to the liquid liner, the liquid lipsticks and the gloss, I have to give it a five out of five. The pigmentation is amazing. Um, the Nude Chica doesn't feel like it's drying out my lip. It just feels amazing on my lips, honestly speaking. Um, you guys thought, saw my thoughts with the palette. Some of the colors, especially the black color, were kind of like, um, probably gonna stay away from it, to be honest, if you're more like a newbie in the makeup. So kind of the black one stains, transfers a lot. I don't really, I wasn't feeling the black one. But other than that, the blue one is beautiful. That terracotta shade was beautiful, that peachy. And the little bit I applied of the gold in the inner corners of my eyes just was very pigmented. Um, the highlight, Yes, honestly, and the colors are pretty amazing guys. So honestly giving you my 110 honest opinion on this pot on this collection It is not a waste of money. Um, you're not jumping in with the hype You're not gonna be a one more of the of the club of the group um, It's an amazing collection So make sure you either stop at your local Ulta to see if they still have some available or go ahead and order them on Joseph colors because honestly speaking I am truly obsessed with the collection guys like like I said, this is an on PR box um, review. I don't have to give you like good review, even if I don't like it, to stay on their PR list. No, that's not the case. I bought it with my money. Actually, it was my husband who bought it for me. <laughs> All right, guys, so this concludes the video. I really hope that I gave you um, sort of like some information to kind of make your decision whether you want to buy it or not, but I say you should buy it. <laughs> so guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you picked up the collection, what you picked up, how you like it, how you've been liking it. Um, if you're going to pick it up and all that, let me know on the bottom part, the 
comment section let's start the conversation and as usual all my social media um handles are right down below thank you guys so much for the love thank you guys for the support thank you so much for sticking till the end muchas besos i'll see you ladies on my following video adios